Welcome to Little Shop of Writers. I'm your hostess, Professor M. M. Anderson. This is the first lesson in my new web series of short, informative writing videos. Learn more about me and my workshops at www.littleshopofwriters.org. Lesson 1. Thesis and the five-paragraph essay outline. We begin with the thesis. I have taught comp classes for many, many years, and the word thesis never fails to trigger a deer in the headlights stare from my students. But really, a thesis is not as scary as it sounds. If you remember, a thesis must have opposing viewpoints, or it's not a thesis. Therefore, a thesis should not be a fact. We all know that the world is round. A thesis should not convey your personal preferences. Okay, so you love ice cream. I can't argue with that. And a thesis should not be a who cares opinion statement. So what is a thesis? A thesis is a proposition. For example, what precautions would benefit your readers to consider? Which political policies should be adopted? And what are you selling and why should I buy it? In order to persuade your audience, you'll need to create a framework, much like building a house. State your side of the issue, support your statement with at least three unique informative points, and then conclude it. The basic outline looks like this. List supporting statements in order of importance, saving the most convincing point for last. Also remember that the conclusion is not a repeat of the thesis. Instead, it brings the argument full circle. I'll illustrate that later. Now is when I begin to hear murmurs of protest from my students. I'm not an English major. I'm never going to use this stuff after I graduate. Yeah, I'm going to be a doctor, a lawyer, a rock star, an advertising guru. I don't need to learn how to write a thesis and an outline. Wrong. I'll prove that learning to outline a five-paragraph essay will help in most professional endeavors. Let's begin with future doctors. You have a patient with a problem. You make a diagnosis. Then you go about supporting it with test and examination findings. Finally, you offer your patient a plan of action. Future lawyers, you stand before the judge and jury ready, ready for closing arguments. Provide a plea. Support it with more than one piece of evidence, and then make a request on your client's behalf. Remember I said that your conclusion should bring the thesis full circle without repeating it? Test this by stating your thesis, in this case your plea, followed by the conclusion or request. <clears throat> My client, Mr. Sticky Fingers, is innocent. He did not steal the hopeless diamond. This case should be dismissed. Does the conclusion answer the thesis without repeating it? Yes, it does. All right, let's explore less academic examples. So your career plan is to play in a girl band and write music lyrics. I took liberties with the Pink song to prove my point. Instead of a thesis, you're going to start with a hook. Follow it with a few related verses, and then it, bring it full circle with a catchy refrain. Voila, a hip hop tune. And what about you business mavericks? Remember these entertaining, brilliantly simple ads from a few years back? Every good commercial, print ad, and personal sales pitch follows the same five-paragraph essay format. All right, let's summarize what we've learned. As you may have gathered from the examples, we write for three reasons. Think of them as pie. Persuade, inform, and entertain. The best writing, like the Mac commercial, does all three simultaneously. Start with your thesis, your statement which can be argued. Follow with at least three unique supporting points arranged in order of impact and bring the thesis full circle with a strong conclusion. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this lesson. If so, please subscribe to Little Shop of Writers channel here on YouTube and come back often for more writing tips. If you're in the South Florida area, you may want to take one of my workshops. If you're not local, there are also online private sessions available. Check them out at www.littleshopofwriters.org. 
Thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you soon.